Hi guys, I'm back with another video. It's been such a long time since I've been on here. And I thought the perfect way to come back is with a Mac haul. And for the last two weeks, I've been non-stop, when I say non-stop, non-stop going to Mac. I must have went to Mac about four times in two weeks. And I threw so much money down, it's ridiculous. So, I'm going to show you all the goodies that I bought. And if you ever got these products below, comment below or comment above. I don't know how they do it anymore. It's up, down, left, right, whatever. So the first product that I got was the Pro Longwear in Bear Study. And the reason why I got this is because the city for me is too far away. So I'm trying to find stores that are nearby my home. And the primer potion that I used to use was Urban Decay's. And it's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Love it to death. Um, I don't know if I still have it yet. Actually, I still have it. I have the, the shimmer one. I used to have the regular one, the purple one with the, with the different color top. And I also got this. And this dried out on me. So that's the reason why I want to get a new one. So this is the color. It's Bear, Bear Study? Yeah, it's Bear Study. And it's kind of like this opal, I don't know if you guys could really see it on my camera. It's like a like a opal type of shimmer to it. And it's good for any color eyeshadow you put on top of it. So it works wonders. And I kind of have it on right now. You can't really see. I don't know why it looks so tan. I look very tan. Like if I just came from Miami. But I have it. So this is the Mac Pro Long Wear. Good stuff. Having complaints. With this, though, you have to put only a little bit. Don't put, like, a whole bunch that just covers your whole finger because then it'll start to crease up. Just put a little bit and just blend it out as much as you can from, you know, your eye, from the eyelid all the way up to your brows. So... The next thing that I got was a fluid line. And back in the heyday, I used to use fluid lines all the time. The reason why I stopped, I have no bloody idea why I stopped. But the reason why I picked this up, it's the Black Track Fluid Line. And as you can tell, I kind of I kind of made an indent in it already. And the reason why I decided to pick this up because my pencil started dying on me. I used to use uh, Urban Decay's uh, pencil in Zero, and then that finished. And then I tried Drugstore brand, and I found this fantastic drugstore pencil. I think if, you see, this is what's left. This is just so sad. Uh, it still sharpens, though, so can't really complain about it, right? Um, this is, I believe, L'Oreal. L'Oreal or Maybelline pencil and then the other end part is like a like a applicator I guess you could say and it's good to smudge it if you're doing a smoky eye look. So that that's almost dead. I was like let me try black track fluid line which I love. I don't understand why did I stop? I shouldn't have stopped. I shouldn't right? I shouldn't. So I bought this back again. And I usually put that, as you can see by my makeup, I still have my makeup on from earlier today. Um, as you can tell, I put it on the upper lash line. And I use for underneath here, um, I used to have a Lancome pencil, Lancome, Lancome pencil. And that disappeared in my house. Don't know where it is anymore. So I decided to go to MAC. And I bought myself a new pencil. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a technical eyeliner pencil. And I got it in graphite. Let me open it up. See, it's just a simple black pencil that's smudge proof. And, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'll let you know how this works for me. But I tried um, Max pencils before, and I have no complaints about it. Another thing that I bought from MAC is something I never tried before, and a girlfriend of mine that works in MAC turned me on to it. It's called the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter. A hot, uh, uh, highlighter. And this is how it looks like. 
and it's kind of like a like a pencil and if you open it it looks like this and then you just take the bottom and you just twist it and it goes click 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 and you put it on um anywhere you will like highlighting some people like highlighting here some people like highlighting here some people like highlighting up here for me personally i have a little bit of it on my upper cheekbones i don't know if you guys can really see i have it on my upper cheekbones and i just you only put a little bit a little bit you don't go all hey crazy with it and the color that I got it in was Radiant Rose. I was going to get another color, but it was too dark on me, I guess you can say. A little too dark. So I decided to get this. And it's great. I think it brightens my eyes up. And it also makes my face more glowy. It gives it that afterglow look, which I never had before when I did makeup. So that's a very good thing. Another thing that I got from MAC during my two weeks of hey craziness is I got a new blush. And the blush, I'm not really big on blushes. I have two, including this makes it three. I have Ambering Rose and Pinch Me. And usually Pinch Me is more of a, like a matte and Ambering Rose has like a little bit of shimmer to it. So the color that I got was Breezy. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's so breezy. And it's a Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. And it looks like this. My camera sucks. Big time. I'm trying to show it as much as I can. And it goes on nice. Like, I'll try to swatch it. I don't think you can really see. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Sorry, I'm sorry for this. I just had to do this video. But pictures will get posted up on it, on my blog spot. I'm going to put the link below when I get the chance to upload it, and it'll show you everything. So it's a pretty, like, almost like a magenta color with a little bit of flakes to it, like golden flakes. So it leaves your skin looking so um, luminous is a nice word to use for it. I like it. I like it. Much. I like it a lot. Um, the next one that I want to get though is Dolly Mix. Dolly Mix, I think, is a cute pink kind of color. So recommend this. Pretty. The next thing that I bought from Mac is the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. Now I will give you a little bit of back history with me when it comes to concealers. I've tried the Max Liquid one that um. It looks like a lip gloss almost, a lip gloss applicator, and that sucked so bad. And then I tried the, the, I have it right here. It's the Studio Finish Concealer, and that worked fantastic. Look, I am almost done with it. It's starting to hit pan almost. And I decided to try something totally different because I have this uh, Studio Finish Concealer. In my shade, which is NC50. And, you know, I cover my blemishes up, any, you know, discoloring, I cover it up, any pimples that may be coming out, I cover that up. And then I also have it in another color, I have it in NC45, which is one shade down from me on my NC50. And the reason why, let me show you, I got it in this color. Ooh, sorry. I got it in this color. And the reason why I got it in this color is because I only use this for underneath my eyes. Because I do have a little bit of bags. And I'm trying to cover them up as much as I can with leaving my skin looking nice without looking like all crazy in between. So I'm starting to get sick and tired of getting the Studio Finish Concealer. So I decided to invest my money. And I bought myself a pro concealer, and it looks like this. Oops, sorry. How to get it? So it looks like this. It comes with three, uh, six different shades, three on each side, and has a clear case cover to it. And once you open it up, it has like purple, and it has like this yellow to it. And then it's also good for um. 
I'm blanking out. It's also good for if you want to do contouring. That's the word I'm looking for. Contouring the dark color, which is this one, is the one I use for contouring. The one next to it is what I use for concealing now. So I conceal all my acne scars with this. And then they also have other colors, like, you know, to mix and match, just in case, you know, in the summertime you get darker, so maybe you want to go a little bit darker. Um, also the orange, just to let you know, he's like, why is there orange in it? There's orange in there because um, some people get really, really dark bags. Sometimes it's so dark it's, like, almost bluish. Sometimes it's blackish, so the orange... Um, counterparts with it and it evens your skin color out so don't be scared to use the orange the orange is your friend don't don't be scared so I think this is worth it and it's just like the studio um, concealers I see no difference and it works just the same I mean this costs a little bit more but it gives you more colors to work with so it's it's up to personal preference it's what you guys like Another thing that I got, I two things actually I got, is the eyeshadows for the for the pro palette, I believe it's called. And I got it in one color it's called Night Divine, which is let me open this for you guys. Which is kind of like almost like a grayish shimmer to it. I don't know, you guys can see it's like a gray shimmer, and I did a really cute um, Arabic look using this color on my lid. And it's fantastic. It's a nice color. And another color that I got is Swiss Chocolate, and I'll pull this out for you guys. And Swiss Chocolate looks like this. It's a little bit lighter than, um, what's the color I'm looking for? It's like, uh, it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit lighter than Espresso, if you guys know what Espresso is from MAC. And I like using that in my crease. When I did the Arabic look, I did, um, Night Divine, and then I put, um, in my crease, Swiss Chocolate, and then I also put Black Tide on the corners of my eyes, and that looked great. Fantastic. Recommend that. So those are the two I got for my... I still haven't panned them. I haven't put them in my pan yet. But soon I will. Uh, the next thing that I bought from MAC is the... What everybody's talking about. Is the Riri Loves MAC um, Quad Eyeshadows. And I bought it in her Coco. And uh, it's a pretty penny. It costs $44. But the colors I like, um, I'm more of a neutral on my makeup, especially my eyeshadows, like neutral colors. I really don't do, you know, purples and greens and golds and stuff like that. But this one gives you like a, like a, a variable of different things like it got the dark here and then it goes darker with um, glitter like a glitter shimmer and then it goes light for the brow bone and then it also has like this nice champagne color to it and I think it's just fantastic that's actually what I have on right now it's really nice so I love it and I heard through the grapevine that she's coming back. You know, Rihanna. We're talking about, we're talking like, if we know her as a person. Uh, she's coming with other things out for the winter collection for next month for Christmas. So hopefully we shall see what that's all about since, you know, all, all of her packaging and all her, you know, her lipsticks and lip glosses and eyebrow pencils and everything sold out in the Mac store. So I am grateful that I was able to collect or got a piece of her Riri Loves Mac part of her collection. The next thing that um I bought was this. It's the green tea or green gel cleanser. Sorry about that. It's the green gel cleanser. And the only reason why I got the travel size is because the regular size cleanser, I believe, is $21, and I didn't want to spend that much money on something 
that I don't know if I'll get allergic reaction or I don't know how my skin would react to it. So I decided to go little, try this out, see how it works. You know, washing my face and just putting a toner and a moisturizer versus putting this with a lotion and my makeup on top of that because you know it's it's different so today I tried this green tea um green tea um uh, green gel cleanser and I felt my skin very um cool and very soft after I used it and it smells fantastic like I have nothing bad to say about this product so you should try like if you're hesitant on getting this you should try the travel size that they have and the travel size is ten dollars compared to the regular price which is twenty one dollars so try it see how you like it if you tried it before comment below if you haven't tried it read the comments and see how you you know how you like it or whether or not you should buy it the next thing i also bought is the travel size uh, oil control lotion and I bought this because I am very oily in my skin and um, I have very, um, I have problems trying to control my oil, especially when I use makeup. Because when I first put makeup, it looks, you know, very matte and very done and very professional. But after two, three hours, I start getting like this. I start getting that dewy look that needs to be powdered up and stuff like that. So I tried this after I washed my face with the green cleanser and then I put this on top and this instantly dried, not dried my face, but instantly um, went matte my whole face, which was something I never experienced before. I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know if it's just, you know, the green cleanser or is it the oil control lotion, but... I notice a difference in my skin, especially when I put makeup. I think with these two combined, um, I wasn't as oily. I mean, I still get oil and, you know, I, I dab it off and then I put powder on top of it. But I wasn't as oily. So, for people who have oily skin, you should try this product. The next product that I got was a new foundation. And the only reason why I got a new foundation is because, I'll show you this I don't even know what the hell is this my I haven't used this foundation in such a long time so now I don't know if you could really tell that the water is on top and then all of the foundations at, oh I just oh god I don't want to even know I just just put that to the side but I've been using my other one which is my studio fix in NC45 I don't know if you guys can see that and it's a perfect match with my color. But I decided to try something new, something completely different with um, foundation. And I decided to buy the Pro Longwear Foundation in NC50. And this is how it looks like. It looks just like this. And it has medium coverage. The other Studio Fix is full coverage. So I don't, personally me, I think I don't really need full coverage anymore. So before when I used to use the Studio Fix, it was because I used to have acne and, and acne scarring. And, you know, that has lightened up a lot. So I decided to try um, this. And I haven't tried it out, out yet. But when I do, I'm going to do it on camera to show you guys how it looks like and uh, you know give you your different options on stuff to buy in MAC not just stick to one particular foundation let's just say and I believe that's all the stuff that I bought from MAC um, it took me a while to get each and every piece you know some things I bought you know one two things and then the others I just went crazy the next time I went to the MAC store so Hope you guys like this. I'm going to try to post more videos up, you know, more often now. I mean, it's not going to be on this Windows Live Movie Maker. The only reason why I did it on here is because um, my camera died and I'm charging it right now. And I, you know, I was so anxious to be back on to show you guys all the new stuff that I have. So keep in, keep in watch, keep in tuned. 
for new stuff that may be coming up. Um, I believe the next video I may do. Hello, testing, testing. Hello. The next video that I may do is going to be an unboxing of um Max uh Max lipstick in Riri Wu, and I also bought the lip pencils, so I'm going to show you guys how that came in the mail for me. So stay in tuned, and I hope you guys like this. Comment, rate, subscribe, everything. Thank you. Good night. Bye.